Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we are in another slideshow After Effects tutorial. This time we are going to create a Polaroid slideshow in an effective way. Before going to our creation, let me tell you my friends, I am going to create more of these motion graphic tutorials. You better consider subscribing to my channel. You will be getting more of a motion graphic tutorials like this. So friends, without much further ado, let's jump right into the After Effects tutorial. Here we are in After Effects friends. Let's first create our composition right now. Let's create the full HD and the composition shall be renamed as Layout. Here I am taking as Layout 1 and then let us customize this. So let us take this as HD TV 1080. So width is 1920, height is 1080. We are going to take the duration as 30 seconds. Let's click OK. Here we go. We have created the new composition called as Layout 1. I am going to close this render. OK. Now friends, create a new composition again and call it Background BG. Let all the settings be the same. Full HD and click OK. Here we get the layout composition and the background composition. And then friends, let us import our assets and the footages here into this project window. Let us go to our folders here. Let's go to images and then we'll take our images also. Let us drag and drop the Polaroid frame first. Here it is. This is the Polaroid image that I created in the Photoshop. So now let us take the tabletop image also here. Yeah, we got this one. And then we'll import some of the images also into our project window. There we go. We select some of the images here, which I downloaded from the internet. You can use your own images to create this kind of a slideshow. We can use some of the images here for the slideshow. Not all, but I have imported beforehand. This is our tabletop image and then this is the Polaroid. So let me put all the images in one folder. Select all, create a folder here and then call it as images folder. That's OK. And then leave the Polaroid the table and select the images here. All of them and drag and drop into the images folder. Let's create another composition and call it as background. And let all the settings remain the same. Keep it as full HD and then click OK. Here we go. We have we have created one layout composition and the background composition here and then select the background composition here and then let's take the background image and drag and drop it into the timeline settings. Let's rescale it to the composition area just like so. And then I'm going to here I am going to take this wooden table as background layer. So for this I'm going to do the color correction here. Make sure you select the wooden table background here, background layer and then go to effects, blur sharpen and then sharpen. Let's go to the settings and increase the sharpness here to around 12 to 13 or 14 whatever you like. And then we'll go to effect again and then go to color correction and go to curves. And let's increase or decrease the curves here a little bit to look like a rough surface like that, just like so. Next, I'm going to create a new solid by right clicking here. I'm going to keep the black color. Let all the settings be the same. Click OK. Make sure you select your black solid layer here and then go to the shapes. If you don't see the ellipse tool here, hold on the Alt key and then click on this tiny arrow below the shape tools and then click on it. Keep clicking it. The shapes will change. Here you see this rectangle. We don't want the rectangle. We want to create a mask. So we go to the ellipse tool here. This is the ellipse and then draw the shape layer like so. We'll resize this a little bit like so. OK, 
keep it just like that and then we are going to go to the mask settings and then check on the inverted here here we go we got this mask and then go to the feather increase the feather pixels just like so just like that this feather is okay for me feather is 190 we got this background now now click on layout one comp here and then go to the project window and drag and drop the background composition here we see the background comp drag and drop into the layout one here we go and then what we can do is now take this polaroid png file drag and drop onto the composition icon here to create a new composition just like so we have created the new polaroid shape composition click on the polaroid comp here and then rename it to polaroid one just like so let's drag and drop the first image in our polaroid shape here let's take one photo and then drag and drop in the polaroid shape and then drag it to scale it down just like so there we go just like that we got the first image in our polaroid composition and next we are going to select our layout one here and then we'll go to the project window and drag and drop the polaroid one on top of this background just like that and then right click on the comp area and create a new light here you can keep the light type as spot and color is white and intensity should be 141 or so increase it to 140 over 139 let's let's keep it just like that and then angle should be 110 feather should be 100 percent fall off should be none and cast shadows check on it and then let's let's decrease the shadow darkness to 70 and then shadow diffusion should be 350 pixels just like that and click ok here we go we have created the light here click hold of this blue that's z axis and then make sure you make this pol polaroid one as 3d and then pull down the polaroid settings and then go to materials option here and then you make sure you on this cast shadow just like that make sure your background layer is also 3d here click on it it becomes a 3d background and also will open the background layer also here and then go to the material material options and make sure accept lights option should be off you can see the change here now and then twill the background layer up to close the settings select the polaroid layer friends i want to scale down the image the photo because it's not looking like a polaroid image but it's looking like a big frame and scale it down just like that now i see exactly like a polaroid image that's it i increase the size a little bit like that and make sure i select the polaroid one and then to create shadow effect here i would like to grab hold of the blue z here and then grab a little bit towards your right like that to cast the shadow effect that's it and then friends you can see the shadow here shadow is created and then select the spotlight then again grab hold of z axis here lights z axis and then grab and drag it upwards like that and i think i need to create more shadow here so let's go back again to the polaroid one and then grab hold of z again and just drag a little bit like so right side like that it shouldn't be much much shadow because it should look like as if this photo is lying on the table so i don't need to create much of the shadow just like that so let's create the animation part now you can see the spotlight here it's focusing our photo and the table i want to reduce the intensity of the spotlight here so go to the spotlight settings lighting options and then and then slightly reduce the intensity of the spotlight to around you can keep it as 125 just like so so we we have reduced our intensity of the spotlight here friends what i can do now is i go to polaroid image again and then i want to slightly rotate this image here so go to z axis and keep it as minus 6 just like that 
we needed this shadow effect here and our spotlight is focusing the table and the image and then it's time for us to create the animation part now to create a polarized slideshow so now friends make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline you open this polarized settings and then click on the stopwatch of the position and the orientation here we have created two keyframes at the beginning of timeline let's create let's create other keyframes here take the playhead to around half a second here and then create the keyframes again on position and orientation we got four keyframes all together till now and i still want to make some adjustment with this spotlight here grab hold of this blue z axis and then grab hold of this x axis here y axis also just like that the intensity is okay for me let's keep it as 125 to reduce the glow effect on the image i need to center the spotlight here grab hold of x axis and move it slightly like that grab hold of y axis and move it slightly like that let's see how the photo looks like now let's select the pole right now and then increase the size of this just like that size is increased so what i can do now is i want to select the polaroid grab hold of the z axis of the polaroid image and then drag it above like that a little bit like that then grab hold of y axis and drag it outside like that we'll see how it let's see how it's playing i think it's good but it's falling flat on the table so i don't want that so I grab this uh, point here on this line and drag it upright towards like just like that to create a curved line graph in order to in order to create 3d kind of a effect here and I need to grab hold of this point and lift it lift it up a little bit towards the right it's falling from above onto the table just like that now it, it looks okay for me now it's falling very realistic that looks good i also animate the frame also make sure i am at the beginning of the timeline beginning of frame and then click on the rotation tool here and grab hold of the x axis and lift it up like that lift the frame up just like so and then grab hold of the y axis and then rotate like that rotate the image like that so we'll see the animation now you see the animation is created see friends it looks perfect for me right now that's good and let's go further into the animation part let's select these two keyframes and right click keyframe assistance and easy ease in so now we have easy ease in the keyframes so let's see how the animation works now you see friends it's falling smooth you see so we have created our animation right now friends our animation is finished so far so good friends here we created this motion graph on the polaroid and then flip it down select this keyframe go to keyframe assistance and then easy ease out let's see the animation part okay friends uh, right click and go to the composition settings go to advanced and then shutter angle should be 180 degrees and then shutter shutter face should be 90 90 degrees and click ok you see the motion blur effect created right now as this image comes up it's a little bit blurry and then getting clear right now we cannot see properly because it's still rendering see so friends let's close the polaroid settings here and then unselect all unselect all and then we'll duplicate the polaroid layer in the project window by pressing ctrl d we have duplicated here we have polaroid 1 and polaroid 2 and again we'll duplicate the polaroid image here also in the composition area by pressing ctrl d so we got polaroid 1 and polaroid 2 so what we can do now is we hold the alt key let's let's paste all the attributes by dragging and dropping on the polaroid 1 here so it is done the polaroid image is copied let's double click on it and let's go to the image let's change our image we'll select another image here let's select another image i'll drag and drop here let's delete the first image here 
and I select this image select the image and drag to the Polaroid frame hold the alt key and drag to the Polaroid frame just like that then go to the layout again select the Polaroid 2 and then drag it to just like so drag it to one second or uh, one second 10 frames let's see how it works will play see first image and second image we don't need to pile up all the images one on the other so friends what I can do is now select the Polaroid 2 and go to the settings and make sure your playhead is at the second keyframe and then slightly hold the Z axis and slightly move it towards right side like that slightly move this like like that to create the shadow on top of each other and then select this orientation keyframe also and then you can also change the Z axis rotation just like so and you can move this X axis also towards a little bit like that yeah it's good you see friends the smooth slideshow of the Polaroid images is created here we can also add more number of images if you want to again go to three seconds here and then duplicate the Polaroid 2 here by pressing ctrl D and then duplicate the Polaroid 2 in the in the project window by pressing ctrl D we got Polaroid 3 and Polaroid 2 here select this Polaroid 2 and hold the alt key and drag and drop onto the Polaroid 2 comp here it's copied all the attributes are copied so move this move this to a little bit little forward on three seconds we'll move this a little here we see the third image also same image so what we can do is we can change the image here double click this is the image that we got on the second second slide also so we'll go to the next image the image that we wanted to change I want this image so I drag under this one and I delete the first so I click on it hold the alt key and scale it up just like that that's good go to the layout comp and let's play it we don't need to pile up again let's let's open this Polaroid 3 settings take the playhead to the second keyframe and make sure you select it and then grab hold of the Z axis here and slightly drag to your right like that to create a casting shadow effect and then select the second keyframe of this orientation and then you can rotate the image also here like that that's it go to the layout close the settings and let's play you see and that's it friends thank you for watching my entire video i hope it's helpful for you the creation is very easy compared to the other slideshows you can also go through my other tutorials if you would like to and please consider subscribing to my channel i'll come up with more motion graphic tutorials and other software usage tutorials if you like my video please hit the like icon below and you can also share my videos with your friends and on the social media thank you for watching my video happy creating